Hey guys, be sure to follow my new Instagram, marspeed underscore official. It's a good place to send me questions and it's easy to answer them all in one place. All right, hey guys, so I get a lot of stick for buying a V6 charger and I know a lot of people who have them do as well. So I just wanted to make a video explaining uh, why people like myself bought a V6 over a V8 model. And I'm not saying that the V6 is better or anything like that. Um, I'm just explaining the reasons why I did it and why other people do it as well. So the first and most obvious reason is going to be the price of the cars. The V8s are simply more than the V6. Um, and even though it's not that big of a price difference, some people just can't come up with that extra cash, you know? Um, it could be a take it or leave a situation. If you're in need of a car and you want something that looks nice, makes you feel happy driving, but you have a very strict budget, that's when people go for the V6. So for my case, I'd saved up enough, or I'd saved up money um, for a while before choosing a car. Um, the V6 model was about two to four thousand dollars cheaper than the RT with the same amount of miles at the time. So that was an extra few thousand that I really didn't want to spend, and I needed to save the money for stuff like maintenance or uh, school costs. But I still badly needed a car for work and school and to get around. So my choice was to buy a fun, still good-looking V6 charger that's fun to drive. And I've, you know, I've now done a lot of fun things to it. I've made the exhaust sound pretty good. I've made a YouTube channel off of it, things like that. But if I didn't get the V6 charger, my only other option would have been a plain or boring sedan in the similar price range. So the only way for me to be in a cool looking charger was to get the V6 model. The V8 just wasn't a reality for me and I didn't have that money. Um, also when you look at the new 2017 chargers, um, the, SE, the SE V6 model starts at $28,000 and the cheapest V8 model is the RT at $35,000. So that's seven thousand people, uh, seven thousand dollars that people just might not have or might not want to pay. Um, you know, you can do a lot of other things with seven grand and still have a charger in your driveway. It'll just be a V6. Um, and you know, if your budget is twenty grand at a max, the V6 is your only option. So price is the reason why I did it and why a lot of other people do as well. So better fuel economy is the second reason why people buy V6 chargers over the V8s. I know that the three point five liter V6 doesn't have much more. Uh, better fuel economy than the 5.7 liter V8 does. It was like one MPG. So that's not a, too big of a saving, but the 3.6 liter V6 is found in 2011 chargers and up. So it's all the way to today's chargers. They have a MPG combined rating of 23. So this means that um, if you look at the how much the average American drives and calculate gas cost, that's $1,550 of gas a month, or sorry, a year. So $1,550 a year on gas. Now the 5.7 liter V8 has 19 MPG combined, so that's $2,100 of gas per year. And the 6.4 liter V8 was rated at 18 MPG, so that's a gas cost of $2,400 a year. And we're not even gonna go into the Hellcat because that's ridiculous. So that means that the difference just between the V6 and the 5.7, not even the 6.4, is $550 a year. So that means by having the V6, you're saving $550 on gas per year, and this can add up over time. You know, over 10 years, you're looking at five, six thousand dollars of savings. And I myself um, drive over 30,000 miles a year. I'm always in traffic, and I just, you know, any any gas mileage savings, even if it's a few miles per gallon, helps me out a lot. So some people simply don't care enough to buy the V8 over the V6. They just want a sedan that'll get them from point A to point B, and that's it. Um, the Dodge Charger fits that bill. It has four doors, it's quiet, comfortable, um, gets all gets the job done. Um, so not everyone's a huge car fanatic, and also with 300 horsepower, today's V6s are plenty for the, for the average driver. Um, and it still goes faster than a lot of other cars on the road. For myself, I knew that um, with this car I would be driving a ton of miles. Um, it's my first car. I was going to be doing a lot of road trips with my friend, with my girlfriend, across the country, to uh, North America, all over the place and just basically beating up the car. So there's no need for me to get a V8 and waste my money. I can get that later on in my life when I you know, don't need to drive as much. So for now I can beat up my V6 and be happy with it. So the fourth reason would be cheaper insurance. Um, it's just cheaper to insure V6s over V8s. Um, I was 18 when I first bought my charger and it was a lot of money to insure any car, let alone a V8, which would have been 40 to $50 extra per month over this V6. So that means five to six hundred dollars extra a year on just insurance, and that's a huge saving when you span it out again over a little bit, a couple of years, um, and that could be even more for some people. So features are another important factor, um, and it's the fifth reason why some people choose V6s over V8s. Uh, especially when you're buying a new car, features are often important. Um, a V8 with no extra features can end up costing the same as a fully loaded V6. So if we look at a base model 2017 Charger. You can add features like Vita audio sound system, power sunroof, 20 inch black rims, 
gloss black RT grille, extra bump and horsepower from the Rally package, rear spoiler, GPS navigation, and five years of satellite XM plus adaptive cruise control. This will bump the price of the V6 Charger to around $35,000. Meanwhile, the RT starts at $35,000 and you get none of these except for the grille, just the V8 instead. So some people will choose the trade-off of a fully loaded V6 instead of a V8. So the last reason I could think of was the sleeper factor. Some people simply want the satisfaction of building something with their own hands, and a lot of people have the goal of, you know, making their V6 faster than a V8, um, building as powerful as they can, and then beating V8s on the street with their V6. Um, this obviously doesn't apply to too many people, but it's definitely a reason why some people prefer the V6. They want to try some, some new stuff to it, they want to supercharge it, see how fast it goes, and see how much power they can get out of that V6. Okay, so that's all I could think of. Of course, the V6s are a better car. They're much faster, and they're really how a muscle car should be. Um, don't get me wrong, I'd be in one if I could, but I'm restricted to a V6 for now, and while I work my way up to a V8 Charger, I'd still rather be in a Charger than a boring, plain, and basic, and common sedan that's not the Charger. All right, guys, so thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time.